how we produce energy, transmit it, control it, convert it, and use it is becoming increasingly more important. Power electronics is central to energy and its conversion and its control. eFutures is a collaboration of academics in the UK who are targeted at applying electronics systems to a wide range of applications with a particular interest in net zero. The eFutures network is critical in allowing us to understand where the opportunities are to collaborate across disciplinary lines. It's the possibility of combining interdisciplinary knowledge and applying this knowledge in different technology solutions that can be applicable to many areas. Working on different problems, but really all trying to tackle one grand problem, but we're just facing it from different perspectives and different angles. So what we do here at Warwick is look into power electronics and advanced materials that can improve the efficiency of energy conversion. It's the key underpinning technology that will allow us to move to a decarbonized and sustainable energy paradigm. So this is the power transistor. So we're charging up all of these capacitors with electrical energy. From these capacitors we can dump into that transistor, which is a silicon carbide transistor, before that transistor electrothermally reaches its maximum limit. So it's important to measure that because if you're using the transistor in an application like an electric vehicle, you can have fault conditions that result in short circuits and your transistor should be able to withstand the short circuit. If we're going to develop into the future sustainably, then we have to source all our energy renewably and sustainably. It's not a single discipline problem, it's a multidisciplinary problem that needs a multidisciplinary solution. In terms of academic and industrial collaborations, they are absolutely vital if we want to see the real societal changes that we need. There's no point undertaking a piece of academic research if there's not a clear end user. And that's what's been so valuable about the research activity that we've been able to undertake here at Queen's. My research is really about understanding the pathways to which we can achieve our net zero ambitions within the public transport sector. I work very closely with one of our local industrial partners, Wrightbus, and through that partnership we've been able to develop new understanding about the role that battery electric and hydrogen powered vehicles will play in our future generations of net zero public transport systems. I work in the control system design of autonomous marine vehicles. Primarily, we are working on the collision avoidance and path planning of maritime vessels, mainly autonomous vessels, but also manned vessels as well. Sasha and myself work together closely. My responsibility is to lead the collision avoidance part of the ship, whereas Sasha is developing a sensor, and that sensor will be integrated with the collision avoidance system for the overall safety of the ship. My name is Dr. Sasha Maluskin and I'm principal investigator for Artemis-led project on collision avoidance for zero carbon maritime technology. Our research team is comprised of four people, a digital front-end developer, analog engineer, software developer and myself overseeing the overall project. Our technology allows to solve some real-world solutions. We're going to use this technology for underwater imaging enabling collision avoidance system on Artemis electrically driven zero carbon vessels. But these solutions can be applied in different areas, such as smart homes or smart hospitals, for example. That's very important to see where and how we can combine our interdisciplinary knowledge to get solutions in different areas of technology and use these solutions to improve um, our technology and human's life. In Queen's we have a strong history of working in collaboration with industrial partners, manufacturing, government bodies to really deliver real solutions which are impacting society and it's one of the things that we are immensely proud of with our staff and students here at Queen's University Belfast. The eFutures network is critical to help us to map out that pathway together that will allow us to develop the safe, 
secure, sustainable transportation systems of our future.